there's definitely some possible picks. So it's going to be very important on how Yato responds to this. But it's 1-1, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you keep that volume up because this is VTK going up against Ackerman. The scales have been reset. We're back at ground zero. We're back at even. Who's going to win the next match? That's right, and now it's up to the teams to build up the story they want. Do you want to come out in the lead, the potential victor in this series, or will you take a back seat and maybe let someone cash in on your dreams? Time will tell, and I have to say something, tricks. and we'll probably have a lot of time to tell because both of these teams since yesterday have not ran us any short matches. We just got done with a 25-minute game. And I don't think there's been a single match between BTK and Ackerman, including yesterday's matches that have went underneath that 20 minute mark. Yeah, I mean, definitely they, they push at the limit. They went five games last night. I don't doubt this could go five tonight at all. Galaxy in a bad spot though. T gonna pick up first blood, a very good start for the side of BTK. And that's huge, right? Get in that first blood, especially on that weak side of the map. Now you have a lot of pressure in an island, basically. That's kind of the island of MLBB. You're typically left alone, uh, excluding kind of the first half uh, when the turtles aren't spawning. You know, the first two, two and a half minutes or whatever. You might get some visits. But after that, whoever has that lead, whoever has that pressure, is normally just going to stay there as an XP laner. You get to get all the cuts. You get to uh, lead out in the rotations. You get to be most impactful in the team fight because you get to lead out first. Uh, if the opposing enemy laner ever tries to make any plays as far as cutting, you can potentially just mop them in the 1v1. So that that could lead to a lot of things here for T and the rest of BTK. Yeah, I mean, T took a death in the laning phase last game and still was winning his lane against Galaxy early on. Now he's got a kill this time. He's a little bit ahead. So I think Galaxy's going to be in big trouble. This means Ackerman bringing some of their resources down that way, which I think a good thing for BTK now is get this turtle and then move up to the gold lane because the people are going to be tugging the EXP. Now, turtle down to about 70% push. Puncturing through, look for something. T gonna hold down that front side once again. Yato there as well. Gonna pop the Ghostbusters, get a little bit of poke damage. Galaxy in the back side though, does have the final slash. Gonna try to move Mobazane away. Mobazane still able to take it though. Colt Alter comes out. Nicolette look for that final hit on a Joy Bodge. Able to find it and pick up a kill, but T finds Kush on the back side. The good kill for the side of BTK. Definitely nice for BTK, but might not be over. A split split coming in. The grab grab, slam slam, bring the boys back. Galaxy brought low once again. Yato here to help. Galaxy able to get that final slash though. Push mm. T back in. Yato in a bad spot will go down. Nicolette looking for maybe another one here. Force to use a flicker, but Noble Zane also trying to clear things up. Uh -oh. Move in, finds Nicolette. Toinks Dangerous. might just be next. Make that a double. Zane on the rise, walks into Kush, but he should be able to get away. And that's that's how you clean up right there. That's a clean up crew. What's those commercials? I don't know. The, the bounty picker upper. That's what Moba Zane is right there, man. A way to clean up through that mid lane, pocket some kills. I mean, a double kill. And we talked about this. Early leads for these junglers in the form of kills like this is huge for their advantage because now Kush, who has suffered a death, Moba Zane, who has suffered none and has picked up two kills plus the assist, probably looking pretty nice and healthy as far as the gold economy looks like. And that can transition into things like those item leads, which makes them even a bigger threat. Maybe turns out Kush a little bit more and able to take advantage as far as XP down the road. Yeah, I mean, in the past uh, two games, we've seen teams have a little bit of an advantage in kills, but not this much of an advantage in gold this early. It's only four minutes in, and BTK's leaving almost 2,000 right now, and you can tell the pressure they're having on the map. Joybaj and Yato both being extra aggressive. Iso trying to make his way down. Off the speedy light wheel. Numi on blast comes out. Kush will be able to get away from that one. Zia trying to get locked on to Iso here, but BTK still controlling the river. Speaking of control, Iso definitely having a great time right now. He hasn't suffered enough, hasn't picked up a kill, but he did walk in back to the Rose side because he is going to be a little staggered behind him. We know you got to go for that expensive first item, that Blade of Despair. Uh, and as we're heading into that wall wiggle with the marksmen included into this fight, that item difference might mean some significant impact. Get a nice back sandwich. Zia able to pick up the turtle though. Joy Baj pretty low. Nicolette makes a call not to engage, but Iso. Walk right into her, up on that top side. Ooh. Might go down to this, the darkness comes out and the final hit connects. Mobazane wants to walk into Nicoletto. Takes a couple shots to the face from Zia. Will get the finish, wait, no, the Brilliance comes out just in time. And the Numenon Blast does not lock on, but Yato still gets away, along with Nicolette getting away with that sneaky kill. You know something that's actually 
funny there. So for that turtle contest, Kush used the retribution. Moba Zane did not though. And Zia came out on top. I, I just thought that was hilarious that, that that even happened. Kush basically lost the retry battle to no retry if anyone else would have contested. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he got stunned up. I feel like we <laughs> lost Cam on him for a second. Or I just wasn't able to keep up. Everyone's popping their ultimates at the same time. But yeah, Zia, I mean, it was just, it was a helpful retribution. You know, Zia, Zia's the real retribution. It's a love tap. Right now, I guess. It's a love tap. I guess someone else has to do it. We saw Hoon do it. Now Zia's doing it. I guess everyone's a jungler today uh, in the playoffs. I guess that's not a bad thing. They are going to be able to take that tower, though. The Neon Blast is going to come down. Nice stun. Phantom Execution. Push. Able to help Zia secure another one there with the love tap. Zia wants that kill, though, and it's going to be really helpful as he scales through this game. And speaking of scaling, Zia just locking in that Blade of Despair. So now he's on par. He's hit his first item uh, spike here in the game. So he can be more of a threat in these rotations for the side of Ackerman. The gold leads pretty even. BTK leads it slightly, right, by 700 gold. So things are pretty nice. These type of things, these kind of pickups as far as items can start to dictate the flow of things uh, with proper itemization since the gold economy is fairly uh, even between both of the teams. We haven't seen any big setups from Joy Boss just yet either, so we gotta still kinda keep our eyes on him, and T as well just having a great game. Gold still in the lead of BTK. Uh, Zia though, like you said, he could be a looming threat to get that shred on. That's right, speaking of threats though, we could see something happening. You see Joy Boss go with a vision. They were gonna pick up that turtle uncontested with that vision, with being able to ward off the threats from Ackerman. So BTK is going to hold on to that lead a little bit more, and it has increased, right? It was sitting at that 700, now it's sitting at 1k, so they're doing good. Whatever decision they're making right now that we are seeing happening, it is paying off for them. It is literally profiting for them as Joy Podge has locked in that dominance ice, so that anti-heal, which is going to be huge for them, especially when you're talking about going up against Nicolette, talking about Galaxy uh, on this Arlock. Because Arlock actually has a ridiculous amount of sustain, especially with this tenacity tank emblem uh, that he has for that hybrid defense booth as the HP bars go low. Speaking of HP bars, though, members working on T, or maybe T working on them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, T, T's 2-0 right now. And I feel like he's just, from last game to this game, he's been playing so well on the blue. Something that we haven't gotten to see him play a whole lot this season, I feel like. But right now, he's definitely strutting his stuff. Zane wants to come in split-split, trying to lock onto Kush here. Decides not to go for it. They don't want to take the risk. Going to move their way over down to the boss side. Do see Toinks and Zia possibly setting up for something. Try right, maybe setting up for something. Maybe setting up for nothing. We are going to find out, though. They've made contact. Oh, Numion Blast with the flicker. Nicolette comes in. Darkness. Zia gets the kill, though. They're doing so well at translating those kills over to Zia. And it's really good. Last time we saw Zia start off with the Beatrix, it was about 3-0. and zero. He's on par to go for the same thing, but in the midside, a little bit of flash with Moba Zane. Should be able to get away. Moba Zane's feeling good right now. I mean, but eventually, though, Nicolette will be able to shred him, too. That's right. Speaking of shred, Ackerman looking poison, ready to catch someone off guard. And I see Yato look for the rotation. He might be in trouble. I see T as well. Trying to come in. Does get the stun on the backside. Hits a split split. For it. Zane moving in as well. Joy Bosch here. Waiting to possibly set something up. Decides not to go for it. I think it's a decent call. BTK still taking their time, but Ackerman doing the same thing as well. That's right. Something, though, that is being done differently is BTK has great positioning right now for the... Oh, Joy Bosch! Finally, a nice wild charge. Nicolette forced to use the Brilliance. Not able to get past that wall, but the Numion Blast does zone them away. Make that a possible attack on the T. Wolf Alter comes out. Veer's Passion to help line things up, bring everyone down to low health. Z is doing a nice chunk of damage on the Yato there. Zane still in the midst of four members. Iso, look for the possible attack. Does not have the speedy, white the speedy light wheel, so he can't <laughs> force the engage. And now Kush take control over the Lord. That's right. What was once BTK's territory has now became Ackerman, especially now that Nicolette's back into the fight. That T, very low, won't be able to survive this one, will get taken out. Nicolette, able to find the kill. Iso pops a speedy light wheel, maybe a little bit too early there. Not able to get the big finish. Williams comes out, Galaxy hold the front side, Kush able to find that Lord, and down goes Joy Baj next. That's two members down for the side of BTK. Ackerman finally taking the lead here. And, and that's what they want, right? Being able to take the lead, not only in the combat, but maybe in the series, but hang on, see! No hip, but they can take that power. Feeling they might move on to this purple buff next. Mobazane is alone, all he's got is Yato. Iso finally showing up. Mobazane is able to secure his own purple buff, that is good, but Lord still coming. 
That's right, and the forces of Ackerman are still coming, not just that Lord, and look at this, they're playing towards the opposite side of the map, I'm gonna let Lord do its thing in the top, and I like that, right, we've seen some teams be a little over ambitious, they're gonna let Lord do its flow, whatever, but now, they have been pushed back, I'm not sure if they're gonna try to recover, it's like maybe this Lord may go to waste, since they weren't able to get the outcome they were looking for, we do see the numbers grouping up though, we could maybe potentially lock into a facility play? is on the back side, but they're not going to try to push it because the rest of BTK are coming around the side as well. Securing back their jungle, securing back their camp, so I don't think they got any towers out of that Lord. That's right. No towers at all. And, you know, honestly, considering how both of these teams have treated those first Lords, not getting the tower as opposed to losing like three or four members doesn't sound that <laughs> bad. Be because, <laughs> yeah, because they have not been having great success with these Lords. They like pick up a tower or two and then they just like throw everyone's life away. So I, I feel like this is a this is a neutral uh, outcome here for Ackerman. I mean, and they do take the gold lead, right? So I think it's definitely a win either way. They gain position, they gain gold, and they kind of take control of the game at this 11th minute. That's right. Taking control right now. And this is where you want to be. You want to keep the pressure up. Ooh, Galaxy stuck. Dodge, waiting for it. Does finally go for it. Gets a knock up. And here's Toys. the on blast. Big hit. In comes the Colt Alter. Kush trying to puncture through. Knight will do a whole lot of damage. Zia doesn't connect too much with anybody's passion as Loba Zane just wants to work on the purple buff. T does get dashed away. Pops the slam slam. Looking for a possible hit. Moba Zane looking for the finish. Kush in a bad spot. Will get taken out. T picking up the kill. Nice mobilize with a stun on a Toinks. Looking for a possible finish. Moba Zane wants to try to connect. Looking for it. Able to find that is a killing spree. Over to Moba Zane there. Nicola dashes in though. The darkness. The brightness. Looking for something. Not able to get the finish though. Moba Zane. Very low. And the finish comes in. Yato finding the kill. Zia finds Yato though. But here's T on the chase. Zia goes down next. That is a shutdown. Exactly where it needs to be ISO need a little bit of money in that pocket and this is exactly what they need like you said a shutdown to his hands it was isolated it was ISO aided but now it's ISO faded because this was destiny inside of BTK to be able to put that much economy into his hands especially at the current state of the game they needed him to be able to overturn his own pockets and now BTK is up in gold almost to right here Frank. so a great turnaround for them able to take control of the map from Ackerman and that's going to be very important with that Lord that just spawned in you just never know with these two teams man they are just always back and forth once again it is a slug fest one guy punches the other in the face then the other one gets punched back in the face and it's just back and forth back and forth but in the end only one will be victorious here it's 8-8 2000 gold lead Lord is back up we got the wiggle going on that's right, and that's the entertainment value that we are talking about. And you know what? Now, things are unfolding a little bit more clear. That points. Not able to get the Numi on blast. Mobazane takes him out. Kush, puncture through. Both altars there to save the day. 4v5, and that is right. But one, he is not alive. T goes down. Now Ackerman on the round. That will be next. Looks like a Hex Galaxy. A little bit of trouble. Mobazane ready to rumble. Looking for the kill. Can he get it? Trying to find it. This does. That's a double for Moba Zane. Kush now all alone. It's a 4v1, and they might just try to ram these minions down the middle. And they're going to split up the attention. They're going for a bit of a push, but they're also going to let Moba Zane go to the Lord Pit. Kush doing a number on those minions, though, so he's going to find the defense, and that's why that call to split up the attention was good, because now Moba Zane still reliably finds them a plus one, even though they don't get the high ground tower. Picking up that luminous Lord, you're for sure going to be able to find one later. Kush! Oh, Yato on a bad spot. Here comes Iso. He Iso. Have any more punctures. Iso not able to connect. Joy Baj also on the chase. Wait, push. Want to re-engage. Point is here as backup. All five members of Ackerman back on the map. Yato is coming soon. That's right. And you know what, Trex? This is a great situation for BTK. They were on the back pedal of this game, but now getting to turn it up a notch. But before we get there, we're going to get a pause request. Get a moment to compose ourselves here, Trex, because things breath. have been so back and forth, man. Listen, even though BTK finally pulled it off last time, I will say their Lord pushes are not looking too great right now. They're like uh, six and one right now, but six being the fails. So if they want to try to take this here and make a huge advantage, they got to do it right. There's still two tier twos on each opposite sides of the map for Ackerman. I think those are the goals here. 
That's right, definitely the goal. Speaking of goals, looking at the replay, we know what's at stake here, right? Looking for that lore we were talking about, the wall wiggle entertainment, but then deciding to focus down on Twigs, courtesy of T on that glue. He's been coming up huge for them for some of these engages. And then look at Moba Zane patiently chipping away at Zia with this tank arena. Look, he runs through two members. He is completely locked in and focused. He knows exactly who he needs to shut down to give BTK an opportunity to stay in this game. Then you're looking for the 2v1. You get his left, I get his right. And that way we win the fight. And they go ahead and split the attention here. We saw them go for the push. They didn't pick up that high ground tower, but Mobazane did lock up that lore for them. And that's kind of where we're at now in the storyline. We're kind of sitting, waiting patiently to see if BTK can get it done again. They end at the lose streak maybe starting up the win streak definitely a possible win streak btk want to try to close this out and if they get it to zero it's definitely looking good for them because all they got to do is get one ackerman's got to get two it looks like, we'll like be... this pause is going to be a yeah. little bit longer, Deku. So we got some time to talk. We got some time to hang out. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Let's build up the pressure here. Uh, right. <laughs> so do BTK. you think BTK yeah, takes this game? Let's get right I to mean, the chase. I mean, if you ask me right now, I mean, they do have the Lord marching down the lane, right? That's always a good, strong way to take a game. But it depends. Ackerman has had solid defenses across mm. uh, all the series, right? They've never, neither one of these teams have really ended off an early lore. If we're going off the history here, I don't think BTK closes it out right now, but I do think they have got the understanding of what they need to do, right? They're starting to lock in on the key targets. Instead of dancing the wall for too long, we saw them focus their attention. They were like, okay, Let's not keep watching T go for these targets by himself. Let's help him out and start winning these fights first. We can maybe end off that. But, Trek, speaking of end, we're off the pause. Building up a little bit of momentum here. It's 1-1. One, one. Someone could potentially get the momentum. Yeah, I mean, the Lord is going to get melted down pretty fast, but they do still get both those tier twos on the offlane. Here comes Mobile Zane on the backside. Look side. at Toink. Toink's Toink. Toink looking for it. Able to connect. On to one. Push trying to come in, but the Colt Alter comes out in the nick of time once again. Yato in a bad spot, though, a little bit too deep. Nobody able to get the finish on him. Iso with the speedy light wheel gets a lot of damage on points, but no finish just yet. They're going to get vision on that orange buff jungle. They know where BTK is at, but Ackerman's still not forcing anything. T going to get pushed under the tower, but once again, he's on this glue, and he is bulky. Now, back to win conditions real quick. I think Iso is really important here. We saw in that last replay, he kind of waited for Nicolette to come in. Nicolette tried to get that darkness off onto Yato, tried to get that Ruby DD or whatever you want to call it onto him, and then Iso comes in at that last moment to take out Nicolette. So I think the timing that Iso decides to be involved in this fight is extremely important. It's the same thing for Nicolette. It's both kind of waiting for the other here. You know, for Ackman, I think they're kind of waiting more on the slipping, but I'm tripping effect. BTK has such a nice sustained comp. Ackman is looking for the quick burst, but that's just not what's happening. Nice pincer there. Wait a second oh. to be on blow. Oh, get stopped by the wall. Good wall. So clutch. Great so wall. clutch. We were all nervous for a second there. That's a we're wonderful like, whoa, wall. Whoa. I've never been more amazed with a piece of rock in my life, man. That, that's just a phenomenal wall. Because it's toys with a land of that. Yeah, just a piece of grok, man. A piece of grok. Because uh, like, if that if that Numian Blast does land, I mean, we, that potentially, at least maybe two, three members get wiped out right there immediately. And I'm not sure exactly where the dead timer's at, but with that Lord spawn again pretty soon, that could have been detrimental for BTK. But out of the hypotheticals back into the realm of reality, Galaxy looks to be in an unfortunate spot if BTK pops a conceal somewhere over here and starts to scout out that jungle. He's the only member on the side of the map. Maybe he's trying to ward off any potential uh, clearances, looking for the wave prio. The weird part is, though, the person who's waiting for him happened to be Joy Bodge out here, uh, as well as with, um, uh, not Mo, but, but Iso here. If they find anyone walking through this path, one wild charge, a pop of the speedy light will, they could be over for that member. And Galaxy right here might be it. I don't know if they have vision on Wait, Joy Zia. Bodge over Zia. There. I don't know if they have vision over there. Zia might walk into it. People going back to base. Joy Bodge is hanging out there. They have a good sandwich. Right now? He's, he's, he's with, with ISO. ISO right now. He's with right? ISO. Yep. And no one's got vision on him. Okay, they Point see Zia. They trying see to rearrange. Zia. Here goes the concealed play on Zia. The flicker, the wild charge. Down goes Zia. 
Toink still holding his position though, but at this point, it is a failed mission. Nicolette and Galaxy too far away. Back to Turtle Pit though, Mobazane is up, push, Go! able to take it. Will they be able to capitalize back on this? Push on the run, very low. Iso looking for the finish, Immortality pops, push. Should not be able to get away from this one. Punctures through, but Mobazane finds it. It's a god-like kill. Ward is coming, but BTK has the numbers advantage right now. And that was such a lovely setup from the side of Ackerman. They were able to keep the vision right on the pit. Uh, they were able to get the vision as well, oh. or not. Yeah. Uh oh. Wild charge with Shadow Stampede. Oh. Bouncing a bad spot. Does oh, he get the finish? Toink, no. Toink will get that on Yato, and Nicolette picks it up. Mope Zane still working on the Lord, but they do find their first base tower. Uh, I'm sorry, BTK. I gave the credits to Ackerman on accident. Had the names swapped in my mind there for, for whatever reason but great setup from the side of btk had good vision had good pick control able to find the kill and the lord all in one swoop what a coordination they're so in sync boy i thought they were multiple women sharing the same house for a moment there yes yes that is very true i thought the same thing for a second it was the first thing on my mind actually joy Bodge, though he's gonna lose a little bit of map space on here hope zane he is alone. Don't know if he wants to try to force this purple buff. Kush not there, though, so I guess he could go for it. Nicolette, though, doesn't want to make the play just yet. Try not just yet. Patient is the slot of Ackerman right now. They're going to look for another good pickoff. We've seen them look for a pickoff before. It didn't work out for them earlier on in the series. But right now, they are content. They are huddled up. Look at this. Both of the teams are trying to make plays. Wait, 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 wait. Look in the mid. Trying to make ISO. a play. They ISO. might just be able to make the play. But wait, yeah. Iso on the mid side. Gonna get ganged up. That's a bit more important than Galaxy. And Iso goes down. It's a shutdown for Kush. Now Kush wants to force it on Yato. Looking for another one. Galaxy able to find it. It's two men down with 40 second death counters on the map. Mobazane with a thumbs up. But your run might be up. Got to try to get out of here. Zacherman's going to push the aggression. Wall comes out from Joy Boss Nicolette with the flicker in. Able to get the dash. Darkness. A lot of damage on Joy Boss. Doesn't get to finish this yet, though. T, the bolt boy himself, trying to start sipping. Looking for it, but he might be tripping. Might be slipping. In a bad spot. Able to get away, but the tower still falls. Zia able to get it. Ackerman still pushing the aggression here. They know there's some death counters there, and they want to try mm -hmm. to get as much as they can. Ten seconds. Nicolette pops the darkness once again. Looking for some more damage on the Joy Bodge there, but nobody pushes the fight. That's right. Those death timers were at 10 seconds, but another important timer. Lord coming up in about 20 seconds, and Ackerman has all the control, but look at this. They have a nice bush set up. Is there any vision? Yeah. Toinks, toinks, toinks. on the flicker. Momose makes it to the backside, though. Nobody able to lock on to ISO there. Cold Alter comes out. Joy Bodge with the flicker. The knockup. Zia will fall, but wait, there's an immortality. Can't get to get the finish. T not able to connect. Yato will do the job. Next push BTK. in a very bad spot. Iso able to find it. BTK on the rise, trying to make the enemies fry. T pops the immortality. Galaxy on the run as well. Mobazane able to get the finish. Yato actually getting the kill. Now they want to say, no, Lord. We want to try to ram this in. We've got your base tower, and there's only two of you left. We've got a canyon. We've got a cannon, a minion, and three more coming. Can they get the finish here? Conceal play out from Toinks, trying to get a nice positioning. Stun comes in, speedy light wheel. Toinks is eliminated, deleted. Up. They're on the base. The minions are there. But wait, the Numion Blast is not enough, because BTK are going to send Ackerman back, my man. They're going to take this 2-1. That was insane. In that bush, next to the orange buff, Ackerman looked like they had to...